Hallelujah. We praise your name, Lord God. It would never lose power. Hallelujah. We praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Shandere Bosso Kondere Basaka. Glory to your name. Shandere Kondere Basa Kere Bosso Ko. Hela Basa Nere Bosso Kondere Basa Kandere Bosso Ko. Hela Basa Kandere Bosso Kondere Basandere Bosso Kondere Basande. Hala Bosso Kondere Bashi Talabasha Kendere Bosondo. Hala Bo Kondere Basha Kendere Basata La Bosso Kondere Basata. Expect the extraordinary today. Expect miracle signs and wonders today. Expect new revelation. Expect new high insight. Expect new worlds, new revelation, new insight. Expect the supernatural. The supernatural that's beyond your imagination, that's beyond your thinking, that's beyond your understanding. Expect God to move supernaturally in your life today. Say, no more spectating. No more spectating. But I will participate. But I will participate. With the, Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. Greet your neighbors and you can be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. You are welcome. You are welcome. working in Jackson <clears throat> and uh, I had to be at work for 730 so I had to leave I received your seat I had to leave my house at 430 a.m. in order to get there on time and then I got transferred to the Hattiesburg office that I only live at that time I only live 10 miles away 
Well, I was fighting to get in the door at 7.30. <laughs> and I said, now, Lord, I got up. It was for five, I received your seed. I got up at 4.30 to arrive at that job that was an hour and a half away. And here I am, going to be 10 miles away and fighting to get in the door at 7.30. <laughs> Shame on me. So here we are, most of us live with less than 10 miles away. Some of us may live, what, how many miles you away, Tony? And you work from home, but how many miles you away from church? Oh, 12. 12, you're about 12 miles away from church. I think she's about the furthest out that we have. Everybody else should have been busting the door at eight o'clock. <laughs> so I thank God for this transition because it's, it's getting us prepared for what's to come. Amen. You have to be ready. You have to be ready at all, at any given time, what God's going to do in your life. Amen. So let me pray. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We thank you tonight. We thank you today for this word, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you would give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and a soul to understand. We thank you that Holy Ghost is our escort. And we thank you, Father, that we invite all the gifts to flow, to have free flow and free course in our lives today. We thank you, Father, for prophecy, the gift of prophecy. We thank you, Lord God, for tongues and interpretation of tongues. We thank you for the spirit of discernment. We thank you for special faith. We thank you for healing, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that all gifts are free to flow in the house today in Jesus' majestic name. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> well, I was reading this morning uh, some of the prophecy that uh, Apostle um, said last week. He shared a, a, a prophecy that the Lord had given him uh, for a young man that called. And I'm, I'm going to be talking today. I'm going to stay on the same uh, flow I was on last week. Um, flowing with the Spirit as it relates to sowing. Pa Apostle is teaching on um, Money coming demonstrators, and that's what we are to be. Amen? That's what God has ordained for this house to be, money coming demonstrators. Amen? And um, when you are part of the kingdom of God, it's your birthright because it came with your salvation. Amen? So to understand that, um, we're going to dig in a little deep today. We're going we're gonna to dig in a little more today. Amen? But I want to read this prophecy Again, pastor's been reading it, and I want to I wanna read it. He said, um, don't get nervous. You on the cross, and I'm the boss. Trust me, I will bring you where you need to be. Financial resurrection means you're not to die no more. Come after the cross. You're on the cross. This is what he told me to tell the pastor, and I'm the boss. Trust me. I bring you. Depend on faith and grace. This is passing the sowing test. He talked about passing the sowing test. He talked about grace, which is ownership. He talked about faith, which is stewardship. And when he talks about grace, we are saved by the grace of God. So the grace is the ownership. Amen? So we are saved by that grace. Amen? So I want to talk to us about, uh, I want to go to Genesis. I think I'm going to start off where I left off last week. Amen? Glory to God. And I'm going to start with Genesis 12, 1. And ask that I receive your seed. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, Genesis 12. You read it. You at the King James. Let's, let's pull it out. The uh, Let me see what I got on my notes. Let's, let's see if you can pull it out of the, uh, the living Bible. Amen. And if I need to go back to the King James for clarity, we will. 12 and 1, because I don't have my glasses. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 12 and 1 says, God had told Abram, leave your own country behind you and your own people and go to the land I will guide you. If you do, I will cause you to become the father of great nations. I will bless you and make your name famous and you will be a blessing to many others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you, and the entire world will, bless, will be blessed because of you. Um, 
I'm going to say this. And, and, and I don't want you to take it uh, of, offensively or, or, or anything, but in order to walk in this money coming demonstrator, you're going to have to leave Pookie and them alone. Amen. You're going to have to leave Uncle Bobo and all of them. You're going to have to leave them behind. Because where God is taking you, the thing is, if you want to be this money coming demonstrator, you want to walk in this gift of sowing that God has already placed on the inside of you. If you want to even ask God to give you seed to sow or provide the seed to sow, it's going to take you walking alone. And you got to be okay with that. Uh, one man told me it's lonely at the top. Millionaires say it's lonely at the top because nobody going to do what you did to sacrifice to get there. And so some, oftentimes, you have to be able to shift enough to say, I'm going on a place that you may not want to go. I'm sacrificing some things that you may not want to sacrifice. I'm giving up some things that you may not want to give up. You got to be willing to give it all up in order to be where God wants you to be. Amen. If you notice the disciples, if you notice everything, if you notice Abraham, Abraham gave it all up. One thing we have to be willing to do is follow the direction that God has given us. Amen. He will give you direction. He will give you an assignment. He will give you instructions. It's up to you to follow. Amen. And when you follow, you got to follow willingly. You got to follow obediently. You got to follow with a joy for heart. It takes pleasure to follow God. Amen. And so we have to be willing to follow God with everything that we have. All that we have, we have to be willing to follow him. And we, we can't be intimidated by our Uncle Bobos, Uncle Pookie and them. You cannot, because what they're going to do, oh, you trying to be one of them. You, you ever heard that? Yeah. Oh, you trying to be one of them. I, I got a relative told me one time, oh, you trying to be one of them other independent voters. He tried to call me the other side. He said, well, you trying to be one of them. Because I chose that I want to live a different lifestyle. Because I chose that I want to do something different. Because I wanted to follow the path of God, which means that I'm going to live a lifestyle that lives the best. Amen. I want the best. Amen. I'm not going to settle for the less when I can have the best. When God has already given me the best, Amen. I'm not going to settle for less. Amen? Amen. 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 So um, let's go to Genesis uh, let's go to Genesis 26 and 12. Let's go to Genesis 26 and 12. And I want you to see the difference, how you have to follow instructions. How important it is to follow instructions when you think you got it. See, sometimes God, when he told you to leave, then sometimes he may tell you to stay. So you have to have your ears listening. I'm not going to hold up. i got to make sure that I'm hearing the right voice. The scripture says that I will not follow the voice of a stranger, but I will follow God's voice. Amen. So we have to know how to follow God's voice and be keyed in at all times. That's why you can't have people in your ear. Amen. It's important that you don't have anybody in your ear if they don't believe the same that you believe. Amen. It's not that you think you better. It's not that you think that they can't hear from God, but when they put something in your ear that don't line up with what you're hearing, Amen. you're going to revert back to that when God's trying to get you something to you. Right now, apostle is trying to get something to us, but if you got somebody in your ear, all they do is talk about money. Now, let me ask you this. If you go to a Money Coming to You conference, what do you think they're going to talk about? If you go into a prosperity revival, what do you think they're going to talk about? So if you won't go to a low is me, woe is me conference, what do you think they're going to talk about? If you think they're going to go to all they talk about is how I was bound, how I got whipped, oh, Lord, I'm so 
tired of hearing I was bound. I'm so tired of hearing history, what they did to me back in slavery. I wasn't back there. I didn't live through slavery. So I'm tired of hearing what they did yesterday. I want to know what's my future look like. And according to Jeremiah 29, 11, my future is bright. My future looks good. So why would I waste my time going to a conference when they still trying to break out the women? You still dealing with men that then did you wrong and you want somebody to pat you on the shoulder and say, girl, woe is us. Nah, I think I'm going to go to the money coming conference. I think I'm going to live this blessed life. I think I won't be on God's side. Amen. Amen. Because he, he, he demonstrated and he told Abraham how blessed he wanted to be. Now, what he could have said was, Abraham, you're going to be the father of many nations. You're going to see about my people because they're going to be woe out. They're going to be trotted down. They're going to be talking about how miserable they are. And I'm going to need you to pat them on the shoulder and tell them it's going to be all right. He could have said that. But no, God said, I'm going to bless you. And you're going to be the father of many nations. And everybody that come around you going to be blessed. Amen. Glory to God. Did you know that everybody that's connected to you going to be blessed because you're a child of God? Amen. Everybody you talk to going to be blessed. The job is blessed. Everything is blessed Amen. because of you. Amen. Don't you know? God is good and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. He is so good. Amen. <clears throat> What did I say, 26 and 12? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me get there. Let me get there. Shama. Shida basa kendere beshita. Have your way, Holy Ghost. It's all about you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shida basa kendere beshita. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I want to go to two. I want to go to 20. Start, at, start with one, and then I'm going to switch over to 12. Start with, because I, I want you to pay attention here. Pay attention. I want you to pay attention to what he's saying here to Isaac. Now, a severe famine overshadowed the land as had happened before in Abraham's time. And so Isaac moved to the city of Ger Gerar, where Amalek, king of the Philistine, lived. Jehoshaph Jehovah appeared to him there and told him, don't go to Egypt. Do as I say and stay here in this land. And I will give you this land to you and your descendants, just as I promised Abraham your father. Did you hear those instructions? Yes. Now he told Abraham, get from amongst all them folks. Get from among them because they're going to contaminate you. They're going to get you believing in what they believe in. But he told Isaac, I need you to stay here, okay. because I've already promised your daddy. I've already told your daddy I'm going to bless you. If you only would listen. Uh, uh, Isaiah 119, 1 and 19, it says, if you only, only let me help you, I will make you rich. Glory to God. And so I, I, God was telling him right there, Amen. I ain't telling you to leave like your daddy. I'm telling you to stay right here because I've already promised. The, the promise is already there. Amen. The promise is already here. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Salvation took care of everything Amen. for all of us. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory Amen. to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, stay here. And I will cause your de descendants to become as numerous as the stars. And I will give them all these lands. And they shall be a blessing to all the nations of the earth. I would do with this because Abraham obeyed my commandments and laws. Amen. Now listen to this. How important it is for you as a parent to serve that legacy. Did you hear what he said? I did that because I promised Abraham Amen. that he would take care of his descendants. Amen. So if God promised Abraham, what about your descendants? Okay. What about your legacy you're going to leave? Some of our great-great-grandmamas prayed us through. That's why we're sitting in these seats today. Some of our great-great-grandmothers saw us sitting here today, so they prayed us through because that's why we're able to benefit. Amen. That the, all those who are...
expected would be able to benefit. Amen? Amen. They would be able to enter in and benefit. Glory to God. Amen. So you got to stay connected to the vine. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I, I want to go and um, I want to read 12 because I want you to see. I'm going to skip over a little bit. You got to go back and read it. I want to show you what happened in the famine to Isaac. Sometimes in your lifetime, you're going to go through some tough times. Apostle was saying, sharing this, this with this young man. He was sharing it with this man of God that stay on the cross. He's the boss. God is the boss. Amen. God is going to be your source of your supply. Amen. God is the source. I receive your seed. God is the source of your supply. It's not you. It's not the job. Amen. You're on that job for seed. It's not the job. Oh, I got to go to this. I, this wasn't supposed to come yet, but since, since the Holy Ghost said that, I want to read. Uh, it's in Proverbs, y'all. I, I looked at this last night, and my husband was passing through the, the uh, impartation room where I was sitting and doing my reading, and uh, <clears throat> he was passing through. And I said, wait, hold up. And he was like, huh? <laughs> should get this water. He was like, <clears throat> he was like, huh? I said, hold up, I got something to read to you. So let me read this out of, <clears throat> I'm going to read it out of two things. I want Proverbs 8 and 18. I want to read that out of the passion and I want to go to the message. The message is going to have it kind of bunched together, but let's go to the passion first. And then I want you to catch it in the message, amen? So I'm going to have to go with you this morning. Glory to God. Let's read it together so y'all can help me out, all right? Unending wealth and glory come to those who discover where I dwell. The riches of righteousness and a long, satisfying life. What it said? Go back, go back, go back, go back. <clears throat> it says, what kind of wealth? Unending wealth and glory come to those who discover where I dwell. Where does the Lord dwell? In me. So I got what? Unending health? Unending wealth in me? Oh, y'all ain't, y'all ain't getting this. Y'all, let's go over here. Let's read this, y'all. It says, unending wealth and glory come to those who discover where I dwell. The riches of righteousness and a long, satisfying life. Woo! Glory to God. Is that it? No. We'll be given to them. Hallelujah. A long, satisfying life. If you're satisfied, you got everything. Glory to God. I don't know. Some of us be satisfied with just making it on the end of the doorstep. And I'm not me. Glory to God. Let's get to that in a message. I want you to check it out in a message. It just, it just, it just brought chills over my soul. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, come on down. Let's see. Come on down a little bit. Because I said 18. Come on down a little bit more. Keep on going. Come on, past 12. Twelve to twenty-one. That's where it's going to. Yeah, but 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 the, I need you to just roll down a little bit. Okay, so that's the that's the last part of it. So go up, go up a little more. Okay, go up a little bit more. Here we go. Here we go. Start with my benefit. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to contain y'all seat, but I can't contain my seat. Because I want to read this, amen? It says, my benefits are worth more than a big salary. Now, y'all be worried about y'all little salary, y'all little money. And it says, even a very large, big salary, the returns on me exceed the imagination bonus, any imaginable bonus. You can find me on what kind of road? Right that's what? That's where I walk. At the intersection of Justice Avenue. Hang 
bringing out life to those who love me. Filling their arms with life, all loads of life. Come on, y'all. That's, that, that's something to shout about. Come on. All loads of life. A well satisfied life. Come on. He's the king of glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Apostles have been talking about uh, salvation. We know salvation. What does re salvation really mean? And I'm going to give you this. So he said, financial salvation. What? I said financial salvation. The word salvation comes from the Greek word sozo and soteria. Salvation means healing. Health, wholeness, peace, righteousness, liberty, freedom, forgiveness, restoration, deliverance, protection from evil, victory, success, and prosperity. Amen? Amen. Now, it means all of that. That's the whole package deal of your salvation. Why is it that we only want the healing? Or why is it that we only want to be protected from evil? Why is it does it sound so good to us when he says, oh, I walk in peace because I'm saved. Now, girl, the peace of God just fills my heart. Well, peace means nothing broken, nothing missing. So I want the whole package. Say the whole package. The whole, the whole package of salvation. Amen? The whole package. So, that's the, so when the apostle says, Financial salvation, I want that too. Amen. I want every part of it. He's been, he's been talking about, uh, he talked about Moses. No, he's been talking about threes. And I thought about that. He's been talking about, uh, look at everything, how, how it came in threes. I, I, I'm going to get to that. Uh, it took, he talked about uh, Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 2020. And we read, I believe we read that last week. He talked about 2 Chronicles 20, 20. And he talked about how they were, they, was, they were coming against them. They were coming against Jehoshaphat. And when they were coming against them, Jehoshaphat didn't know what to do. So they sought the Lord. And the Lord gave them direction. He said, you will not even have to fight. But what I love about it that is when the Lord do your fighting, when the Lord does your fighting, not only do you win, but he make the enemies turn on themselves. Yeah. Them enemies turn around on themselves. Hallelujah. But the best part of it is 2020. And let's go to 2020. Let's go to 2 Chronicles 20, 20. And that's why it's so imperative, you all, that you catch this. When an apostle or the man of God or woman of God is talking to you, that's why it's so imperative that you catch this right here. 2 Chronicles 20, 20, I believe it is. You can go to the uh, King, KJV, KJV. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Glory to God. Hallelujah! 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 Woo! Glory to God! Hallelujah. And I'm going to keep reading. And they rose early in the morning and went forth in the wilderness of Tekel. And they went forth. Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Now we have a man of God that is before us that has manifested. He, he is a demonstrator. And he, God told him that it wasn't just for him, that it was for the body of Christ. So he's endeavoring to try to get you to be a demonstrator. Amen. You can't be a demonstrator if you don't follow the plan or you disconnect from the man that God gave it to. Amen. You can't be a demonstrator if you despise the teaching on prosperity. 
You know why the enemy don't want you to learn about prosperity? Because he don't want you to have nothing. He wants you to stay on the list. You remember the list? Luke 4, 18. Let's go. He wants you to stay on that list. Glory to God. For the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He wants you to do what? Preach the gospel to the poor. No, he wants you to stay on that poor list. That's why he don't want you to get this righteousness. That's why he don't want you to get this prosperity because he wants you to stay on this poor list. He has sent me to heal what? The broken hearted. He wants you to stay broken hearted. He has anointed me to preach the God. Go, 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 go. Keep it going. To preach deliverance to the captives and recover it to the sight to the blind. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. He wants you to stay bruised. That's why he fights so hard. Because guess what? He already got the world. So he can just keep rolling the money in on them. Guess what? Then he's going to snatch it right from under them. Then he's going to say, ha, 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 I got you. Right where I want you. Right now you're seeing that. I've talked about last week. You are seeing the unrighteous being called on the carpet. God said he was going to do it. It's a time and it's a place, but God said he was going to do it. But guess what? If you believe what the word says, God says it's our season. It's our time. It's my time, says the Lord. It's my time, hallelujah. It's my time, glory to God. So God's come to take us. Jesus came, and he gave that same revelation to us that he came so that we might be rich, not poor. Amen. But guess what? He put might in there because you got a choice. You can go ahead and settle and just say, I'm just going to get on there on the by and by. I'm just going to ride my gravy train right on in the door. You can go ahead and say it that way because he gave, but it's might. But I said, God, I want all you have for me. Do you want all that God has for you? All that God has. All that he is. And all that he can do. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shama. Oh, glory to God. It's important, you all, that you follow instructions. It's important to follow instructions. One of the things that Moses said, let's go to uh, Ex Exodus 14, 13. Now, everybody then saw the Ten Commandments show. You didn't saw the movies. You didn't saw the God, what he did. He raised the water. And, and they were able to walk through the, through, through the, the Red Sea on dry ground. Ain't, ain't nobody but a God can do that. And so God is able to do far beyond what we can imagine because if you didn't know what was going to happen, what, what did you imagine would happen? They're at the butt of the sea. They're right there. And it's like, well, where are we going to go, Lord? I didn't imagine that he was going to raise the water. Did you imagine? So when you get at the, when you get at the Red Sea, when, toughs are, when life is tough and times are tough, you've got to pass the test. You've got to keep on going. You got to say, stand and see the salvation of the Lord. Now, when he says, stand and see the salvation of the Lord, you got to remember, stand and see healing. Stand and see health. Whatever you need, stand and see it. Whatever you need. 14, 13. And he said, oh, my God, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. Uh, okay. That's 14? No, no, that's 4. I, I didn't think that was right. Go to 14. 14. 13. Go back to 13. Mm -mm, that's, that's not where I want to be. I'm going to have to spot me. I want you to go... Um, where Moses said, stand and see the salvation. That's it? Okay, gotcha. Now, I ain't got my glasses on. Just read it with me. <laughs> and Moses said unto the people, fear ye not. Stand still 
and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you the day. For the Egyptian whom ye gave seen today, ye shall gain no more forever. That means forever. So what happened during that time? First he sees that see in salvation of the Lord. But when I was thinking on that, I said, Lord, you did it all in the salvation. When he said those words, stand and see the salvation of the Lord, prosperity was in those words. Amen. They had no idea that they were about to be debt free because the Egyptians was about to be, be taken under. Debt free, delivered, all the things that salvation means. Everything that salvation means, it was taken place when Moses said, stand, see the salvation of the Lord. The whole salvation package came right then. Amen. Right then and there. Amen. You got to see it, y'all. Yeah. It's already there. Amen. It's been there from the beginning. People love to take out the Old Testament and just say, oh, I just believe in the new. Well, honey, sweetie, let me tell you something. It would not be a new if it wasn't the old. And the new was only to come f fulfill the old. So God took care of salvation. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, to Glory to God. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, I'm getting excited. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. So I want to say to you, stand still. Have faith in God's timing. Trust in his deliverance. Step out on faith when prompted. Seek his ways of doing same things in his direction. Let me say that again. Have faith in God's timing. Trust in his deliverance. Step out in faith when prompted. By the Holy Ghost. Let me add that. By the Holy Ghost. Seek his way of doing things. In his direction. Say debt cancellation. opportunity for that cancellation if you miss if you if you don't keen in to his instructions you're going to miss the instructions that he's telling you supposing Moses suppose, let, me, let me tell you how what, what I love about women let me tell you what God did God told the women I receive your seed I receive your seed God told the women to go and borrow the stuff. Did you remember? Do you know that? When he told the Egyptians, he said, he said, send, don't send the men. Well, I wonder why he said not to send the men. Don't send the men, but send the ladies. Because see, the ladies know how to borrow. The ladies said, let me go look at your jewelry. Let me go look at your fine china. Let me go look at your fine silver. They took it all. And God knocked them over the head so that they can take it. They didn't come to their senses until they were well gone. Amen? That's what God will do. He sent the women to go and bump. Amen? He sent the women, and then he wiped it out. See, you got to know, sometimes God, it is God, apostle said this, God don't want us bump. But sometimes, he might ask you, he might tell you, okay, it's time. Go ahead and buy you a car. He said, but I'm going to pay it off in three days. Amen. I'm going to pay that off. Go on and get it. Go on and get it because I want you to get it now. But I'm going to pay it off. Amen? Amen. So you got to know when it's time. And I'm going to tell you this. If you ain't, if, uh, I, I don't care. I'm going to say it. If you ain't got, I know that ain't my English mama. <laughs> If you ain't got $500 to pay the note, don't go borrow the note.
And then you're going to say, Lord, I ain't got no more seed because I, I got to pay my car note. And then the Lord going to let you struggle to it, through it. And then you're going to say, well, see, I know that didn't work. I sold my $10. Well, most of us already didn't got the $10 reward. <laughs> so you got to be, you got to listen to what the Holy Ghost is telling you during this time. Sometimes it, ta it takes some of us to get seed in the ground. Sometimes this is your time to sow. And, some, and, 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 and guess what? Isaiah, uh, Isaac, re re in the same year. If you're hard right, God will cause you to reap in the same year. Sometime in the same month. See, God ain't no, he not set on the same pattern. Just because he did it to Isaac that way don't mean he gonna do it to you another way or some way or the same way. God might decide just tomorrow. I've heard people come in here and say, I have sown, I sold, they, they, they went out on a limb to sow. And then God turned around and that next day, God gave them a supernatural blessing. I mean, it was supernatural because their faith was on the line. When your faith is on the line and you're trusting all that it is, all that you have on the end, say, God, I'm trusting you for this. I believe I'm hearing from you, Lord. Amen. Amen. God will meet you where you are. Amen. That woman was pushing through. That had that with the blood, she was pushing through. If, if I can only touch him. If I could just only touch him, I know I'll be made whole. Amen. We got to know. We got to know that we're hearing from God. Amen? Amen. Glory, to God. Glory to God. And sometimes during this time, let's go to Mark 23 and 25. I'm, I'm using some of these healing scriptures because it, it's, it's a part of the salvation packet. What, which one would you rather? Let me ask you. Would you rather be healed or would you rather, rather live in health? We got to get that healing mentality away from us. Because it's even in your finances. Would you rather be healed in your, in your finances or would you rather just be a, have a healthy financial, healthy financial bank account? Don't that sound good? I got a healthy bank account. Hallelujah. We got to get that mentality out because here we go running to the altar every week, running to the altar. I want to be healed. Then all you got to do is eat right. Live a healthy life. All you got to do is take care of your body. And then you can live a healthy life. And then you ain't got to run to the altar to be healed. But you'd rather just keep on tipping to the altar. Keep, keep on going to the altar. Keep on going to the altar. Well, I was believing God for this, but, 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 but I did something I wasn't supposed to. I, got a, I, I didn't hear God, and I went out and I got this, and I went out and I, got, and I went shopping. Some of us got to break that shopping Amen. just for a season in your life. Don't mean you're not going to have an opportunity to shop. Amen. God wants to give you the overflow that you ain't got to be. Count your checkbook like, let me see, a note from a note is a note. <laughs> And I can't go buy a dress when I can just wait. Give me some seed in the ground. Now I can buy as many dresses as I want. Your closet is over full. Glory to God. Amen. Have 200 purses like Mom Thompson. Glory to God. Oh, I just say, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. God is so good and his mercy endureth forever. Hallelujah. Mark 9, 23 and 24, 20, 9, 23 to 25. I think it's in the KJV the way I wanted to say, but I'm going to see what it looks like in the, in the, um, you can go ahead in the KJV. Yeah, let me see. Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, so if you can't believe this, all things are possible to them that believe. Keep it going. And straightway, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thy my unbelief. Amen. So sometimes you can get in the midst of the service. 
you say, oh, I believe. You get excited because of the, the anointing that's in the service. And then you go backing up and you go crabbing back and you get to think about your situation. You sit there a little while and then all your bills start coming and then all your things you got to take care of, it start hitting your mind, start hitting your soul. Then you got to say, Lord, scream it out. Help my unbelief. You got to scream it out because God said it. And if God said it, it's absolute. It's true. We ain't got to worry about it. We can take it to the bank. I don't have to worry. I don't have to get fretful. I don't have to get anxiety. I don't have to think about it. I know he's going to come through. Amen. I just got to follow through. Amen. I know, say that. I know he's going to come through. I just got to follow through. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. You got to believe what the word says. Glory to God. Some of y'all, and I don't know who this for, for, but God trying to show out in your life. He just needs you to show up. He, he said that to me. He said, Ron, I just need you to show up. I'm going to show out. Oh, you going to show up? Oh, you going to do what I told you to do? If I, if I happen to get the seed in your hand, are you going to sow it? What you going to do? I receive your seed. Some of us, God will provide a seed to you. Have you ever just, money just showed up from nowhere? Now you didn't even know it was coming. It just showed up. And then you went shopping. You didn't even tithe off it. You didn't even sew off it. And guess what? The next time it was time to sow, when the wave was going on, you didn't have no seed. I wonder why. I wonder why no seed didn't show up this time. Because God provided the seed. He will always provide a seed to a soul. That, that, isn't that what the scripture says? I will always provide a seed to the soul. Come on. Apostle made a... Glory to God. Apostle made a statement. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. I thank God. I tell y'all, I thank God for my apostle. I thank God for my pastor. Amen? Amen? I thank God that our pastor had the wisdom enough to connect to an anointed man. Amen. He could have just connected to any old body. But God chose Apostle Leroy Thompson Sr. for him to connect to. Thank God for wisdom. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Apostle made a statement some time ago. He said, I can't think broke. I was sitting in the, I was sitting in the, in the pew, in the chairs, when he made that statement. And I said, Lord, have mercy. I receive your seat. He said, I said, Lord, have mercy. And I was sitting there. And that, I believe that at that time, I don't know, we may have been connected maybe a couple of years in, I, I guess, at that time. And he made that statement. And I'm telling you, something rose up on the inside of me because I was thinking, I was sitting there thinking about, I won't sow this seed, Lord, but if I sow this seed, it's going to put me a little tight there. Girl, when he said, I can't think broke, something rose up on the inside of me. I said, yeah, I can't think broke. Oh, my God. And guess what? I can't think broke because I'm too busy thinking rich. <laughs> Glory, that's why. He can't think broke because he's too busy thinking rich. You need to say that. I can't think broke because I'm too busy thinking rich. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive your seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive your seed. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Now, now, now listen, y'all. We going on into our apostle. So whenever he come online, I hope y'all watching back there because I'm sitting down. Amen? Amen. So we're going to finish our offering and prayer after apostle. Amen? Amen? Amen. So just go with the flow. If you need healing today, I hope this could get you healed right here. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says that I will, Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Amen. So when you, when you try, when that thinking broke, trying to come up in your soul, you say, God will never leave me nor forsake me. Glory to God. He said, "Lo, I'm with you to the ends of the earth. Glory to God. And I think that's around Matthew, the 20th chapter somewhere. And, and I want to go to John 15, 16. Glory to God. I can't get it all in because guess what? I want to be able to sit down so we can hear. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, he, ye, which is you, have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should do what? Remain. I, we just need to read it again. That who's, well, uh, I'm going to go back to that. Just, just let me read that again. Ye, ye, you, that's why I like the other version, but you have not chosen me, I have chosen you. Just stop right there. You didn't choose salvation. God chose you. You didn't choose to be rich. God chose you to be rich. Come on now, can you hear it? Can you hear it? He said, I chose you. You thought, oh, I got saved. Oh, I found Jesus. Like, oh, you ain't found Jesus. Jesus found you. Hallelujah. I got saved last night. Oh, yeah, Jesus found you. Hallelujah. There it is in black and white. Amen. But, but is it a revelation to you? Can you see the salvation in there? Can you see your richness in there? Glory to God. I'm, I'm going to let you look at something else. Let's read this. Ye have not chosen me. I, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, say it with me, and that your fruit should remain, come on, that, whoo, that, come on, come on over, that whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. Don't that sound like prosperity to you? That, that, don't that sound like divine help to you? Amen. Don't that sound like peace to you? Amen. Come on, nothing broken, nothing missing. You got to know that he chose you to walk this life. Amen. He chose you to walk a, a life full of prosperity, Amen. a prosperous life. Who, what is that, Jer Third John 2? Come on, let's go, Third John 2. Hallelujah. God chose you. Third John 2. Shamasi talabosha kanderebesha talabosha konda. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Beloved, come on, let's say it together. I want to get this in your soul, in your spirit. Let's line it all up. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, be in health, even as thy soul prospers. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So when you, when you, when you. When your soul trying to think over there on the other side, I ain't even going to say the word because I'm going to keep on thinking rich. When your soul trying to pull you back to slavery, come on now. You got to remember that you didn't choose God. He chose you. You got to remember that he is the way, the truth, and the life. You got to remember my family is those that do the will of the Father. You hear me? If you don't do the will of the Father... Call at a sister. Matthew 12, 48 to 50. The will of the Father is that I live a prosperous life. Is it not? Did I not read that? Yes. Now let me tell you when Uncle Boo Boo and them come. 
This what I do to Uncle Boo Boo. That's 48 through 50. But this is what Jesus said. But he answered and said unto them, and he told them, who is my mother? Because see, his brother, if you go back, his brother, his mama, and his brothers and sisters was out there. They just wanted to fellowship with Jesus. They just wanted to hang out with their blood relative. You know, that blood relative. You know what I mean? Them kinfolk. You know what I mean? And that's why you can't, and I'm not, I'm going to go on this side. That's why, that's why you cannot be stuck in no statue. Because if Jesus said, who is my mother? And he got people worshiping a statue. I ain't going to call no name. Let me go on in here. But he answered and said unto him, who is my mother and who is my brethren? Keep going. And he stretched forth the hand toward the disciples and said, behold, my brother and my brethren, come on, for whomsoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same is my brother, my sister, and my mother. So that's what you tell Uncle Boo Boo. When he said, you just going over there giving that church all your money, I'm going to say, hmm, that's why you're not my brother. <laughs> that's why I don't take your advice. Amen. <laughs> when your mind go to wandering, it took them three days to, put, to pick up good wealth. Don't that sound like the resurrection? That's why apostles say, money come in resurrection. It took them three days to gather the wealth. It's, a, it's another one. It took them three days to ga gather the wealth. Jesus, Jesus went down under. It took him three days to step right out and say, Satan, here I am. Amen. Three days. It sounds like the resurrection to me. Amen. Somebody got a three-day blessing waiting on them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Thank you, Lord. Oh, when the apostle was reading that, I said, Lord, that's, that is the resurrection. It took him three days to gather the spoils. It took him three days to gather the gold. It took him three days. I said, Lord, it took Jesus three days. Well, and he woke up with a whole power. Did you, did, I can imagine. Can you, let's just go, let's just take us an imaginary break. That they took up all that gold. Do you think they was walking like this? I think they was walking like <laughs> They didn't got all this gold. I think they were stepping, baby. You hear me? They wasn't that had their head down like, Mm, I got all this gold. No, baby, they were stepping. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You better walk with your head up. Amen. You better walk. I, I tell my grandchildren, I said, when you when you talking to somebody, shama. Where my camera people at? Hallelujah. Man with a camera. Where they at? Come Man with a camera. Quickly. Where they at? Come on out quickly. Wow. Wow. I'll send you a picture. Wow. I'll send you a picture. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah! Good to meet you. Wow. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. QR code. You can text SOC to 866 891 or you can mail your seed to P.O. Box 742, Petal, Mississippi 39465. We also have a website. You can go to lccpedal.com, find the tab that says sow seed to go ahead and sow that seed. Amen? All right. Now, if you are not on bernardjackson.tv, what you waiting on? We have an Apple app. We have an Android app. We're on Fire Stick, Google TV, Roku TV, Apple TV. We're everywhere. So go ahead and download the app now. Amen? All right. Next up. If you would like to be a part of our database, if you would like to be notified anytime we go live or anytime we have something going on, I want you to text LCC to 